hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Choma of Choma Stitches so today we are going to be making a flowy free gown um, and this gown is going to be about 37 inches long and it's going to be having a kind of a line flare from the waistline down okay so and to achieve this i want to draft out our basic bodies pattern all the way to the hip area and to the length of the dress basically so that we can alter this pattern to get the flare gown okay so i'm going to start by marking out the shoulder measurements for this dress and i'm going to be working on so i'm going to just divide this pattern in half so i can work on the two of them at the same time So I have 12 inches here for these two, but I'm going to make it 20, which is 10 on both sides. So I'm marking out 10 here and 10 here. Then I'm going to impute the shoulder measurement and the shoulder is eight inches. And then for the back, I'm going to come down by one inch shoulder slanting. For the front, I'll come back with 1.5 inch shoulder slanting. And I'm going to connect this back and the front. But to do that, first let's mark out the, the armhole. And the armhole is the bust divided by, two, by, by 6 plus 1.5. And the bust here is 32 inches. So 32 divided by 6 plus 1.5. That will be 6.8 inches. So I'm going to be marking 6.8 inches. And then I'm going to come here and mark the same 6.8 inches, which will be 8.8 .8 if I mark it from the top. Which will be, no, sorry, 7.8. So now I can connect the two lines. Here is our armhole. And then I can mark this armhole down. Okay, next we are going to mark in the neckline. For the neckline, I'm using three inches, three inches by half an inch for the front, for the back, three by half an inch. And then I'll slant it to meet the shoulder slanting. And then for the front, I'm going to be using 3 by 3 inches. So 3 inches with 3 inches depth. I'm going to use my ruler to connect it. And then roll it over, overall to meet the 1.5 inch shoulder slanting. Now I'm going to, now I have to mark out the armhole. For the front, I'm going to go up by three inches, and I'll come in by one in half an inch. I'll connect it to the shoulder slanting, and then I'll use my curved ruler to mark up the angle. Then for the back, I'm going to divide the back in half. Then I'll come in by half an inch as well and I'll connect it to the one inch shoulder slanting. And I'll use my curve ruler as well to connect this one. Now next I am going to impute the other measurement, which is the shoulder to the bust measurement, which is 9.5 inches. The half length 17 inches. And then I can mark out the hip length 24 inches. So I'm going to repeat these markings here. I have 9.5, 17, and 24. Now the length we have, the full length of the gown we are working with is about, um, the full length of the gown we are working with is about 37 inches, but I have 36 inches here. So, from the bust area, 
I am going to come down by one inch. And then I'm going to take the bust measurements. The bust is 32 inches. 32 divided by 4 will give me 8 inches. So I'm going to mark out 8 inches. And I roll it to the ample. The waist measurement is 28 divided by 4 will be 7 inches. So I have 7 inches here. We're obviously not taking out that. There will be no that taken. And then I'll mark out 1 inch for the zip allowance for the back piece. And so I'm connecting this uh, waistline to, and then I'll connect this, the hip of this person is 39, 38 inches, 38 divided by 4, will be 9.5, so I'll mark out 9.5 here. So I'll be co connecting these lines, so I have 9.5. So this is it, and then I'm going to rule the 9.5 to the end of the pattern. Okay, so I want to also rule out the middle of this pattern paper. And because the waist is 7 inches, I'm going to mark it 3.5 as the middle here. I'm going to be connecting the line. Or well, I can even come up and decide to use like 4 inches. Or well, that's okay, 3.5. I'll use 3.5. So I'm marking it up to the. Then I'm going to mark another 3.5 for the center of the, of the front piece as well. Okay. Now, as you can see, this center, this mid line I wrote in the middle stopped at the, the one inch below the bust area. Okay, this is the bust measurement. So this is the one inch below the bust measurement. Okay, so I'm going to cut out this pattern. So I have the back piece and the front piece. Now because of this place, the reason why I'm, I come down by one inch from the bust area is because I would like to tear this open and expand it and use it to cut out the fullness of the of the skirt of the dress. So here's what I'm going to do. For the back piece, I'm going to cut it open. But first, let's work on the front piece first. So I'm going to cut it open for the front piece. So I'm going to stop at this one inch before the bust. And then I'm going to go all the way here. This is for slash and spread method. So I'm going to come here and pin down this pattern paper. So I'm going to measure up to the I'm going to measure up to the 30, 
37 inches I need plus 1 inch for the hemming which is 38 inches so and I am going to start pinning it Okay, so now that I have pinned here, this is the much uh, of fabric I can use from this. So I have decided this is the quantity I can take from here because the rest is going to be for the back piece. And so I am going to be extending this, extending this to stop here. It's going to stop where. So for the waistline, for the down part, I'm going to be stopping it in a place where when you drag, stretch out this length, it stops exactly as a straight line. Okay, so I'm going to be pinning it down. Like I mentioned, what I need is length that's 8 inches and I'm going to be measuring the length that's 8 inches. First, I'm going to be measuring from the shoulder to where this line stops, to where the slit started. What I have here is 10.5. So, I'm going to place my 10.5 there and then measure the full length to get my 38 inches. So, this is 38 inches. Let me show you guys. So I'm placing the 10, the 10.5 from where the side is. I'm going to measure up to 38 inches. And this is 38 inches and I'm going to mark it. And this is because when you do slash and spread, as you expand it, the, the side front or the side back becomes longer than the front. So for that, you see where this is stopping at 38? Why this one is stopped at 38 here? So I'm going to rule. I'm going to be using my ruler to connect these two. Okay, so I can cut out this back piece, adding half an inch as the sewing allowance or one inch when I get close to the bust area. Okay. Then for the waist area, for the waist area, I'm just going to connect this line straight from here straight because we want the boss to hold, but the waist does not have to be curvy. So I am going all the way. Then I am giving the bust area one inch for sewing allowance. Adding half an inch at the shoulder line for shoulder joining. Okay, let me show us what we have cut out. This is it. And I added part of an inch here for folding the neckline. And 
So this, this is the entirety of our cut and slash for this dress, as you can see. So this one is ready. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the for the back piece. I will repeat exactly the same thing I've done for the front piece for the back piece. all right so here is the pattern here is the we've transferred our pattern to fabric as you can see and this is the bust area and this is the one inch one inch we came down by so that we can do this and this is it okay so now i'm going to cut out the sleeve for this dress For this sleeve, uh, for this sleeve, I need about 18 inches for the sleeve, and so this is the down part. So I'm going to mark it out. Uh, considering nine inches for one inch for the folding, we are going to put the elastic because the sleeve, the dress is going to have a, an elastic band for the sleeve, and then half an inch for joining the sleeve to the bodice. So I am just going to hold here. So for the for the sleeve, I'm doing freehand for the sleeve drafting, and so I'm just going to come down from the top where I've marked this, and I'm going to come down by uh, considering that half an inch is for joining. Let me just mark out half an inch for the joining. This is not clear, but I can still tag. A, I will tag. I will add a link to how I to a, a, a drafting I made of a basic sleeve i'll add the link in the description box here so you can check it out in case this this drafting i'm doing here on the fabric is not clear enough for you to see i'm going to tag that the link to the to to that one here so you can check it out as well okay so half an inch is for the joining so i'm going to come down by 2.8 that's the boss divided by 12 2.8 and then i'm going to be going going here by six point uh, 6.8 and this 6.8 is the boss divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches the way we got our arm hole. okay all right and then i'm going to be coming here to mark this place in half in a slanted manner i will find the middle of this slant this is the middle and I'm going to go up by half an inch and curve this half an inch. Connect the half an inch to this and then connect the half this other half an inch. And curve the half an inch to the top end of the sleeve and connect it also to the to the beginning of the sleeve here. Okay? So I would have come down to decide to make this place lower. Because that's if you want the sleeve to be tight. But this sleeve, I'm making the sleeve that's going to be very free. So we don't need to curve to differentiate between the front and the back part of the sleeve. So I'll use just one part as both the front and the back of the sleeve okay so now i'm going to extend this sleeve to add exactly whatever is left as the allowance and add everything to it okay so i am going to be adding the allowance like so so let me be sure that everything under is equal so i'm just going to cut out the rest of it as the sewing allowance Okay, so this is our sleeve. And then for the neckline, I'm going to be cutting out a straight piece. And I'm going to do a little bishop neckline for this dress. Okay. And the bishop neckline is going to be 
at least 0 0.78, 0 0.75, not more than that, okay? So 0 0.75 into 2 will be 1.5. And then, so 0 0.75, that I'm going to be making 1.5. And that, so that when I fold it in half, I'll have 0 0.75. Then I'll add one half an inch for, for folding. I'm going to just mark out these two inches. Okay, so I'm indicating where the middle is by notching it on both sides. Okay, so when I am joining it to the slit for the neckline, I'm going to be folding it in half because I want the bishop neckline to be very tiny. So I'm going to open this back piece and join the shoulder. I will start by joining the shoulders. So I'm going to go ahead and show and sew the shoulders with half an inch and then and I'm thinking we should add a pocket. Add pocket to this. I think pocket will be nice because it's a free dress. Pocket will be really nice on it. So I'm going to be adding a pocket as well. So let's just cut out the pieces of the, for the pocket. Okay. Since I still have some fabric left, there's no point wasting it. Let's just cut out small pockets for it. So I'm going to fold this like so. And then fold it in half again. Like this. And I'm going to be using my hand to trace out the pockets. We don't need much, so I just want to use my hand to trace out the pocket like this. So you can place your hand and use your hand to decide where you want the pocket to be. And I'll cut it out. Now to make this side and this side equal, I just fold here. So that we cut the same shape. So let's start sewing. Join the shoulder lines and I've sewn part of the back zip allowance to give room for the part where I'm going to be putting the zip but the zip will not come in until I have done the neckline and then now I want to do the part where so for the neckline I'm going to go ahead and sew the neckline I'm going to sew here all the way to the end of the neckline and then I'll turn it the other way and sew the other part that's for that then secondly it is time to put the pocket since I said I'm going to put in pockets let's put the pocket so to put the pocket from the armhole I'm going to come down seven inches from the armhole seven inches and I'll mark it Then from here, I'll mark the same thing. Now I'm going to be pinning it. So I'll pin it facing the right side, facing the right side. I'm just going to pin it like so. And I will sew a straight line. So, for this other side, I'm doing the same thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and sew this and sew the neckline. Also, I am going to be hemming this place with half an inch folded twice. That is where we're going to pass the elastic. Okay. All right, guys. So, I have hemmed. I've hemmed the edges of the of the sleeve where I'm going to be passing the elastic as you can see okay so now I am it's time to attach the sleeve to the to the main bodies and then I have also sewn the pockets as you can see here the pockets are ready I'm going to iron this down on all sides and this is the the tiny bishop collar I was talking about I have sewn it and top stitched so now I am going to go ahead and so the zip, I'm choosing a blue zip for this. So I'm going to sew my zip using the one inch sewing allowance. I will attach the zip and then I will sew in the, the sleeve and we're almost done. 
I've added the zip. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and join the sides. And because I've not added the elastic, I am going to join the sides from here, sew it all the way, leaving the space where I'm going to add the elastic. Then when I pass in the elastics, I'm going to lock this place. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew, sew the sides, hem the edges and place it on the mannequin for us to see. So guys, here is the finished look and as you can see, the dress came out really beautiful and the color is so amazing. I want to thank you guys who have stayed with me all this while. Uh, for the new subscribers, I'm really blessed to have you guys. Thank you for joining us. And for the old subscribers, thank you so much. And if you're just meeting our page for the first time, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you in my next sewing tutorial. I love you. Bye.